What are the thoughts? What do you think? I think that your grandfather would be very happy. I think he would think that this was just pretty, pretty neat. He always like had it. a soft spot for that heart, for the, or a soft spot for that barn because that was the first thing he built when he came back here and started raising pigs. So. Good morning, folks. Today is the day that we are going to um, replace the roof of our old barn that we shoot the podcast in. When I say we, I mean we hired the Amish. So the Amish carpenters that built all four of our hog barns, did all the carpentry work in, are back here and they're going to be re-roofing our old, old barn. They really don't make barns like that anymore. And so another big reason why we want to do it is we want to redo that barn and make it last another 70 60 years you know we want it to stay here and be a part of our farm's history and make it look real nice and make it uh last a little bit longer so we got a delivery they brought our foam and the steel and the stringers the two by fours for the barn so the crew was supposed to start today but they're not here yet i think they'll be here yet this afternoon or first thing tomorrow but so this we're going to get a double layer of this between the roof, the existing roof, and the new steel that they're going to put on. And that's going to be our insulation. So from the inside of the barn, it's going to look just like it always did. All the insulation is between the original sheeting and the new steel. It's going to be black. It's going to look fantastic. So this stuff on top is just trim. This is the ridge cap. And then there's some there's some uh, square that goes down the side, and over there is the the piece that goes along the edge. But these are the two by fours, so they're going to actually put these on edge and then screw them into the trusses, and then the foam will go. They'll cut that, and the foam will go two layers in between each one of those studs, and then the the steel will get screwed down on top of it. So that's where insulation is going to be. It's, it's going to be a pretty slick setup, and like I said, from underneath, it's still going to look like the old original barn. You'll never know that it's got that insulation in there, but it'll help keep it cool and keep it warm, and that's what we're looking for. got all the steel off on both sides so they're working on the west side right now but everything is stripped off and now they're gonna be laying the new stuff on top of these old shingles so we replaced this roof one time in its existence already so those shingles got bad and then they they tinned it and now this tin this old tin were taken off here and we're replacing and putting new tin on so the next thing we'll do is we'll put white tin on the walls for on the outside walls so it looks real nice and we'll do the same thing with the insulation we'll insulate the walls so the whole barn will have insulation on the outside keep that old barn look on the inside and uh, but that's going to probably cost similar to the amount that's, that's that it's going to cost to roof this thing so if not more so we'll have to wait for a later date to do that but um White paint's chipping away and it doesn't look the greatest. So white tin will match that white or match that black tin roof real good eventually when we get there. People are always asked, these are the same, this is the same crew that built Sawyer's hog building. They're actually the same crew that built all our hog buildings and and they are Amish. We 
we get these comments that those guys aren't Amish because they're using air tools. Well, something about Amish culture is that what they can or cannot have as far as modern conveniences is dictated by the bishop, who's the leader of their, their church. And these guys are from Southern Iowa and all their air tools are ran off of a gas powered generator. So a gas powered uh, air compressor. And so they can use that. And then like the guy that's running my skid loader, he's not Amish. So the van that they drive, they have one worker that drives the van and he's not Amish, they hire him. And he's the guy that runs if they're using a telehandler, he runs the telehandler. He does all that, none of, none of the Amish do that. And then, as far as like using that telehandler, the, the equipment that they have, it is leased by the church. So the guy that owns this crew, he doesn't actually have the lease on the telehandler. Now, they're not using a telehandler today, they're just bumming my skid loader. But in that situation, the church pays the lease because it's for the betterment of the community and that's how they that's how they do what they do and i'm sure that the van is probably owned if it's if it's owned by anybody within the church it's owned by the church and not by an individual so the idea is that if it is for the betterment of the community the church will own it but um they don't use any electricity you know electricity um, and there's some that they'll use cordless tools if the tool is charged off of a gas powered generator. They can't plug it into power, but if they use it off a gas powered generator, it's okay. So that's the, that's the, the difference in the crew that we have is um, that's what's allowed by their bishop. So that's how they operate. What are the thoughts? What do you think? I think that your grandfather would be very happy. I think he would think that this was just pretty, pretty neat. He, he always had it. a soft spot for that heart, for the, or a soft spot for that barn because that was the first thing he built when he came back here and started raising pigs. So what year was that? Well, he came back here in '49, and so I think that barn was built either in the summer of 49 or the spring of 50. The, the years scratched in the concrete inside the door, but I didn't go look. So. But you like it. I like it. Yeah, I think it looks sharp. What are your guys' thoughts? Oh, it's beautiful. Them Amish, they're just working hard at it. It's looking great. Truly. Yep, that's the first, that's the first uh, section that they're putting the steel on and it looks top notch. Looks real, really good, and we all love it. And I'm gonna—I can't wait to see it when it's all done. So it's been a few days since the Amish have been here and as you guys can see 
they got it all done so both sides of the barn are 100 percent done fully tinned fully insulated and we are super super happy with the results it really makes that barn pop the the touch of black on the roof just makes makes it pop out and stand out a little bit more it's got that modern farmhouse kind of look to it and the next the next project for this barn on the outside is do do white white steel on the side walls and insulate them as well so it keeps that old barn look on the inside but has that really aesthetic look on the outside same thing here for the east side of the barn looks just as good as the west side really really happy with the results and grandpa grandpa lawrence is smiling down from heaven because you know he if he was here he would be just as happy as we are so so i just wanted to come in the inside and show you what the old barn looks like um, many of you have seen it before, but just to really iterate that we wanted to keep that old barn look, we didn't mess with anything on the inside, and having that insulation on the outside keeps this thing looking the way that it's supposed to look. We also changed up the Barn Talk uh, podcast setup and studio. Uh, we're, we're using leather chairs now, not using the table anymore. So this is, this is what the setup is, and this is what it's gonna be for a long, long time. But we're really, really happy with the look and feel the overall barn inside and out. The last thing that I'll say is, you know, we, we were thinking that this was gonna be an improvement as far as putting the insulation on the outside, making it a little bit of cooler in here, but we didn't know to what extent. We still figured, we you know, we'd have to get AC and all that, which we probably still will. Um, but just with the insulation on the roof, it has significantly brought down the heat in this hayloft. Uh, it used to be so hot up here that it was unbearable to shoot podcasts in the afternoon, but now we can shoot podcasts pretty much whenever we want up here. Uh, it could be two o'clock in the in midday, and with that insulation on that outside, it has significantly brought down the heat in here. So it's actually comfortable. It's not unbearable, which is amazing. And I think when we do the side walls, adding that insulation on the sides too, it's just gonna bring down the heat even more. And um, we're hoping, to, we're gonna see what it's like in the winter, but. For summertime, right now, it's way better. So we were absolutely blown away with the change in temperature up here just with the insulation. So overall, very, very happy. And I can't wait to continue to just keep making this barn better and better over time and keep it going and keep it in the family. And uh, hopefully it'll last another 80 years. <music>